Yeah, that's right. Hi, my name is Cock Nibbler. All my life, I've been an invincible homeless man, just trying to find a way to kill myself. But recently, I found out from three nerd gods that I am destined to complete the main storyline for season six of Skyrim for Pimps. Not too sure what that means, but it's going to take me on great adventures, and who knows what kind of characters I'll meet. This is Skyrim for Pimps, a very special kind of walkthrough. Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Agent of Righteous Might, the movie. Screenplay by Herman Melville. Wait, let me, okay, so wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summarize his story as we go along. Um, some flaming skeletons attacked a man and shot him in the forehead with an arrow. <laughs> um, then he split into five different people. No, no, that guy died. <laughs> um, but then five other men with hoods went for a walk. And then they came across a woman who was passed out on the floor. No, no, this was separate. Oh. Those men all fell off cliffs and died. Okay. Uh, then a woman was taking a nap. Uh-huh. On some stone, where there was a um, a very friendly sort of stuffed animal sketched underneath her. Her child uh, sketched it while she was sleeping. Yes. She's a bad single mother. And then later, 50 or 60 years later, yeah. um, someone made a tapestry that had the sun on it. Uh-huh. But it wasn't actually a sun. It was, it was a jellyfish that was, like, colliding into the ground. But nobody knew that until 100 years later <laughs> when they finally figured out the meaning of this tapestry. Right. And they set up a museum <laughs> run by this man. His yes. name was Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. His name was Mandy, and he had two um, servants named Ra Runcible and Caruncible. One of uh, Caruncible had to be imprisoned. He tried to steal the tapestry. <laughs> oh, what a douche. And that's where you come in. Nope. That's where we come in. We have to save Runcible, who is now called Psalms Aretha. So, Warlock, who are you and how did you end up here? Oh, I'm nobody. Just the hero of Skyrim. I'm just here because it's my destiny and shit to, like, save the whole fucking place. Yeah. Indeed, it is our destiny. No, my destiny. <laughs> Why don't we take a moment to think about this? Sorry, Psalms. Well, you don't need Warlock. to think about it. It's just me that's going to save Skyrim. <laughs> okay? He's like, damn, that shit's heavy. I didn't realize I was going to save Skyrim today. Oh, God, someone left an obese troll in a bucket down here. This is terrible. What? <laughs> Why would they do this? I can't believe there's troll fat on a fatty troll. Okay, if you had time to think about it. The torture room leads to the third floor. I'm pretty sure it will get us to the waste disposal. Dude, dude, you talk too much. Just shut up for a second. The door of the torture room leads to the third floor. Uh, oh, oh my okay, god. god. I'm, I'm not going to memorize all these fucking directions. Hold on, let me get a pen and paper, write this shit down. Okay, let's start back at the beginning. <laughs> okay, we go to the waste disposal room, right? They've been piling corpses the other day. Instead of the main piling floor, corpses, they dragging yes. the bodies upstairs. Uh-huh. I'm guessing they have some sort of drop hole to dispose bodies. Upstairs, okay. If we work together, we will be able to get out of here alive. Okay. That sounds like a great plan. I am in. Good. First, we'll have to unlock this door. If we can get some sort of lubricant, I might be able to break it. Oh, well, yeah, Whoa, no problem. Okay. Um, let me just... Wait so a minute. You're trapped in a cell with a guy, and he's telling you to get some lubricant. Yeah, wait a minute, man. Uh, I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm not gonna let what happened to that liquor guy happen to me. Wait, do you think that's what he's referring to? Yeah, he wants to fuck you in the butt! Oh, no, that's why he wants the lubricant? Yeah! Oh, that's terrible. Well, I suppose I could give him some troll fat. <laughs> Will fatty trolls serve as lubricant, sir, for not attacking my butthole? I can't think of how else we can get out of here. S stay back. Do your thing, but stay away from me. I know it's been a while, but... Oh, I'm gonna take this apple. Do it! Ooh, right. a bucket. What? Here, let's use this bucket to get out of here. Nice! There you go! <laughs> bucket always works! <laughs> that was amazing! It, it broke the cage! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's all kinds Ooh. of stuff here. Sharp stuff! Take it, I'm just gonna take all of it. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Wait, me all those, the stuff. Most Give of that shit was worthless. Why Ooh, what's this? I take all this. I take all this stuff. It's just paper. This way. That must be our way out. Oh, Let's yes. Go. Maybe this goes to the um, the oh. waste disposal. I don't really want to go down in this. Maybe you should lube this waste disposal hole up with some troll fat. Yeah, can did you put troll fat on this before we just <laughs> head straight down it? What if there's a naked man waiting for me at the end? Oh, stop worrying about naked people. You just never know if there might be a naked person at the end of a there's tunnel. There's never gonna be a naked person! Keep your 
eyes open. This place is filled with foul creatures. Keep my mouth open? Why yes. would I do that? To catch the foul creatures in your mouth. I don't think that makes any sense. Tell me about your family. Not now. Once we get out of here, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, no, no, please. I don't want to get out of here. I like it here. Tell I me wanna... about yourself, at least. Once we get out of here, I'll answer <laughs> oh, any wow. at all. Hello. Scary things that Runcible's afraid of. <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> naked people? There might be naked people on those pods. Foul creatures. Yeah, I'd rather that we didn't speak until we get out of here. If you're not going to answer my questions, I don't want to hear your fucking voice. <laughs> Man, you really don't like elves. Sure don't. Elves know they're unnatural, but not as unnatural as goblins or, or naked people. I wish I had more than a knife to kill this damn spider. Yeah, I wish I had like a big fat book to kill these spiders with. I wish I had the edge of a newspaper. I wish I had like a shoe, a dirty old shoe. Keep your eyes open. Okay. This place is filled with foul creatures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was. I actually, I was striking out blindly there, and I didn't realize <laughs> you were in the line of fire, my friend. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a foul creature because this place is filled with them. Hey, Brad, could you tell me a story? I'm bored. You smashed me in the face with a rock. So? I hit you on the other side of your face with a hammer. I guess it is even again. Very well. I will tell you the story of Wayless. Uh, Wayless was a king. Now, kings are usually very powerful, but he couldn't say no. He was too polite, like people in the north often are. One farmer asked him to give him all his gold, and King Wayless did. Uh, one thing led to another, and eventually King Wayless lived in a small hole in the ground, nude. One day, a mysterious traveling stranger appeared at Wayless's hole and told him about a wonderful kingdom called Audible.com. He told Wayless that they had over 150,000 audiobooks, which is quite a lot. Wayless was very bored, and Audible.com sounded exciting. He listened to fiction, he listened to non-fiction, he listened to periodicals. So he signed up and got his first audiobook for free, called How to Say No Without Feeling Guilty. From that book, he learned a key phrase to establish his personal boundaries. Now, instead of saying yes, he always says, No, I should. I could, but I wouldn't. With that phrase in hand, his life turned around. An ugly woman asked if he would marry her, and Wayless said, No, I should. I could, but I wouldn't. Finally, one day, a werewolf asked him if he would like to become a werewolf. Confidently, Wayless declined. No, I should. I could, but I wouldn't. Unfortunately for Wayless, it was a werewolf, and werewolves can do whatever they want. So he turned Wayless into a werewolf. The moral of the story? Go to audible.com slash Skyrim and download a free audiobook. Yes, you could, you should, and you would. Warlock. What are your plans now that you're free to roam once again? Uh, I'm gonna get some troll fat and have some fun. Because masturbation, according to the pimple, is actually totally fine. <laughs> and as long as you're not thinking about anything while you do it. The pimps actually, I think my gods are chronic masturbators. Ah, okay. Anyway, Psalms, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Um, I am thinking about following you if you don't mind, though. I don't mind at all. Plus, I got an extra fistful of troll fat for tonight. Oh, look at me. Yeah. You're wearing a dress. I don't like this. I don't like this. I didn't want to dress like a lady. You had to, to go over to undercover. Warlocks uh, look like ladies. No, they are ladies, I guess. No, war no witches. Witches are lady warlocks. No, warlocks there's female warlocks. You no. don't know what you're talking about. I do there's know what called, I'm talking about. There's a about. whole group called the female warlocks. No, they're called witches. No, no, the female <laughs> warlocks coven. That's what it's called. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Oh, sure. Yeah, sorry about that. Also, I might have a robe on so my dick is exposed. Some girls might get nervous walking around with your dick in your hand. The pimple says it's okay to expose your genitals to people. <laughs> <laughs> so, exposing your genitals to people and masturbating is preferred to falling in love and settling down with a woman? Yes, oh yes. <laughs> but nudity is forbidden. Right. Unless you're exposing yourself to someone in public. <laughs> Are we supposed to talk to this deer? Is that why you stopped? <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna keep following you, buddy. Boy, I do a lot of this these days, don't I? Yeah. Um, how far do we have to travel? <laughs> kind of have some stuff I wanted to do. Kitties? Oh, God, I nope. yield, I oh. yield! Uh, oh, it's just some farmers, okay. <laughs> Is this my horse? 
It's not your horse. It's uh, who cares? Stolen. Oh, you're stealing it. You just stole a horse. No, this is my horse. You okay with that? No, you this is my something. No, this is my horse. No, that horse it belongs looks to just, the farmers. It looks just like my no, horse. No, it doesn't. It, it's my horse. It's not your horse. I did not just steal a horse. You did. I know this is my horse. That that farmer couple rode into this romantic uh, valley on their horse, and you just stole it from them. So now they're going to freeze to death walking oh, look. back. He's, to he's farm. white and brown, and he looks like a horse. Your other horse was, like, way more white than this one. If you get off this horse, it'll start walking away. Here's the That's thing. That's how stolen it Here's is. Here's the thing. <laughs> I didn't really... No, this... You know what? I, I apprehended this horse. Apprehended yeah, it? Yeah, this horse is known. No, you confiscated it. No, yes, I confiscated it. Not apprehended. It. I confiscated this horse. Hero of Skyrim, I have important things I need to attend to. Uh-huh. And I needed this horse. You commandeered it. I, yes. No, no, this is my horse. Okay. Uh, this never belonged to those farmers. Nope. You just have a bad memory. All right. Maybe we'll see a courier on the way. Maybe. Yielding to wolves on the way to wherever we're going. Hey, Runcible, keep on the lookout for... Couriers uh, yielding to rabbits is really funny. <laughs> I once heard of a courier who got killed by a butterfly. Because he yielded. No, he forgot to yield. See, the butterfly was uh, was flying in front of his face as he was running. And oh. he, he, was, he opened his mouth to say yield, and it flew down his <laughs> esophagus and choked him to death. And that's... He was like, butterfly! I yield! <laughs> <laughs> he choked on the butterfly. Yep. Oh, that's just a moose. Don't just re don't worry about it. Uh, here, I'll, I'll drive him off. Yeah! Get out of here, moose! We don't like your kind. Get out of here, moose! Get out, what oh, the shit. hell? That moose just got annihilated. That's not a moose. Hey, nice job, Runcible. Good job, buddy. That's why I'm on a horse, so I don't have to fight rats. <laughs> they can just chew on your stolen horse's legs <laughs> as you ride it further and further away from its rightful owners and home. Well, I'll take it back to them if it really is their horse, which I'm not convinced. Really, will you? Will you now? Pretty sure this is my horse, no. but if we see my horse again, I'll know that it was not my horse, and I'll take this back to. When those you farmers. get off this horse, it's gonna start walking away. No, no, yeah, it's it my will. horse now. It knows. It knows. <laughs> it doesn't know anything. It knows it's with a more noble person. It knows that it doesn't Watch. like you. See? All right. Yep. Nope. There That's it goes. That's my horse. Nope. It's. Nope. Uh... He's not going anywhere. He knows he's mine now. No, he's he's leaving. Yep. Stay here. No. Nope. He's going. He doesn't like you. Horse. He wants to go home. You go back to my house. <laughs> uh, You're homeless. Oh, shoot. That's right. Horses need homes. Go back to the streets of uh, Whiterun and beg. <laughs> like Wait, a real that's my horse. horse. This is my horse. Yeah, obviously this is your okay. horse. No, it's not. Finally. This is another... God damn it. <laughs> this what is the... my horse. You just stole that guy's horse no, right no. from underneath this him. This is definitely... How did that happen? This is definitely my horse. Where Where are we going? Rod C. I've been forced to apprehend two horses so far. Commandeer. Commandeer Why two do you horses. Keep saying apprehend because they were illegal. Do you know what that word means? It means you take a horse because it's been bad. No, and that's you not what apprehend means. Ride it means. somewhere to teach it a lesson. Runcible, are we almost there? This is making me suicidal. <laughs> well, this... dude, just uh, just give up. You can always uh, work for Hermias Mora. Oh, oh wait, no, that was the wrong, yep, that was the wrong way, of course. Yeah, see? Yeah. Hermias Mora would never lead you astray like Runcible. You, you don't and really, you don't really know where you're going, do you, Runcible? Holy shit, we're here! Yes, we made it. Oh, I can't take my horse in? Nope, it's Damn not it. your horse. I'm afraid I'll lose him again. You will, because it'll walk away. How will I ever recognize horse. him the next time I see him? You're never going to see this horse again, because it's not yours. That's... No, that was definitely my horse. Nope. Would you like us to release more videos on a weekly basis? Well, so would we. And it could happen now. Uh, check out our new Patreon page. Um, if you pledge just even like a dollar a month, that's going to push us towards that goal of getting more videos out. Basically, the more that we can make per month on Patreon, the more videos we can release, even to the point where we might be able to hire another editor. Um, and there's a bunch of rewards over there for you. We're going to start doing a new live broadcast every month where you can interact with us, ask us questions. We're just going to hang out live and shoot the shit. And you can get in on that for five bucks a month. So uh, consider some sort of donation over at patreon.com to keep us making videos. If you appreciate what we're doing, we would appreciate anything that you can give us back. Thank you so much.